Savi IT Solutions. Now we are making video on control structures if else statement. Already in the previous video we learned about simple if theoretically as well as the practically in two videos. In this video we are learning about control structures in if else statement. So uh, in the previous video also we mentioned that the control structure is divided into three categories under this we are going to conditional control structures under this we are learning about decision making or branching okay under this we have different subcategories that is simple if if else nested if else and else if ladder okay so now we are learning about if else statement okay now the if else statement syntax indicates if this condition is true then statements 1 and statements 3 are executed if this condition is false then statements 2 and statements 3 are executed that is what exactly the meaning of if else statement means in the previous simply only if the condition is true then the statements will be executed here if the condition is true uh, other statements will be uh, some few statements will be executed if the condition is false then other few statements will be executed so there is no other condition is checked for else part okay so the flow chart indicates condition yes no statements 1 statements 2 statements 3 and so on this is the way we are indicating uh, the flow of control in of if else statement okay now we look into some of the programming examples so that it helps you in a better way okay so the next one is write a java program to find the greatest of two numbers if you need to find the greatest of two numbers firstly we need to read we need to assign two values a and b and we need to read two values with the using any one of the mechanism like directly we need to present values in the program or using command line argument or using scanner class or using buffer data class you have to read that is the uh, first point after reading the values initializing and reading the values we need to check directly if a greater than b so what we need to do system dot out dot print ln okay a is greatest okay else no more condition directly we need to write else system dot out dot print ln b is greatest uh, so the complete program will be discussed in while we are discussing in practically here only the logic is the primary object to and we are explaining only the logic here okay the next program write a java program to check the given year is leap year or not so we need to take one variable that is equal to y so if y mod 4 is equal to is equal to 0 so that we print system dot out dot print ln y is leap year
else non linear so this is, that is the way we are doing it so simply we can know that leap year is nothing but um, every four years it occurs and uh, that's why we are dividing with four okay and the second important bit when it is uh, the year is leap year then the number of days are 366 and uh, non leap year we have 365 days in february it adds one more day in general it is 28 days right so write a java program to check the given number is even or odd so we know the basic definition of even number or odd number in a, a number which is divisible by 2 and the remainder is 0 then it is called even number and a number which is divisible by 2 and the remainder is not 0 are called odd numbers so directly we are checking simple condition we need to take the variable is n and if n mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0 so that we can say that print ln n is even so directly we need to check else part directly we go to else part n is odd so that is why that is the way we are checking even number or odd number next one is write a java program to check the second number is factor of second uh, first number or not simply we can say that a mod b is equal to is equal to 0 then it is a factor otherwise not a factor simple scenario so if a mod b is equal to is equal to 0 system dot out dot print ln b is a factor of a else system dot how dot print ln b is not a factor of y so this is the way we are checking the logic so finally we need to check uh, uh, the given number is positive number or not how we are checking if you take a number n that is greater than equal to 0 it is positive number otherwise it is negative number so according to this we need to check if n greater than equal to 0 system dot out dot print ln n is positive else system dot out dot print ln n is negative okay this is the way we are this is the way we are finding uh, uh, using if else statement in java uh, java programming okay so in the next video we will explain you in practically how we need to do and the important point is same programs in conditional control structures and uh, simple if and if else i am using the same programs in different way of approach so i think you understand uh, the logically how we are changing the mechanism so if you understand the concept very clearly it helps you where we need to use exactly so why i am mentioning this three are doing same activities means what conditional operator simple if and 
if else are doing same activity then what is the difference okay which one is the efficient one in the situation that is what you need to learn okay so now i am not telling you why because you have to rethink in the later videos at the end of the control structures we will discuss how and where exactly we are using these things in the program thank you